This is indeed a sad one for us as a people. The killing of the aid worker is condemnable, totally uncalled for, and deserving of the stiffest retribution possible from the Nigerian state and all nations on earth that truly call themselves friends of the Nigerian government. Barbarism of this magnitude called for the shedding of diplomatic pretext as it should be met with the kind of response that will remind the terrorists that humanity is not to be toyed with on the scale in which uh, they have done. We condemn this act of cowardice as a dastardly evil against humanity that should not have happened if the international interest propping up Boko Haram had taken the sensible step of uh, this continuing criminal support of the bloodthirsty monsters that they have created to torment innocent citizens within our national space. It is of this note that while the Boko Haram and its Islamic State West African province, Iswa, the Tration were taking successive heavy losses from the Nigerian Armed Forces, the reported escalation of French subversive activities in the region, including clandestine delivery of logistics to the terrorists, has given the terrorists the boldness to kill captives that they have held before France decided to strengthen their hands by their supply of logistics and uh, media propaganda. The blood of the four aid workers is therefore as much on the hands of Boko Haram Iswap as it is on the hands of the French government and the country's nationals the world over. We continue to aim for the comfortable life. We we'll continue to aim for the comfortable life at the expense of human loss in the lecture basin and its environment. This briefing will not be completed without Save Humanity Advocacy Center expressing its reservation about the manner in which news of the murder of these aid workers came to the public knowledge. Like uh, in the past, we have had so, so, you know, successive uh, first media outbursts coming from the French uh, media, and, uh, which has uh, given lots of Nigerians cause to ask what's the relationship between these two, even if these things happen within our soil. Uh, why the Nigerian media, why, what, what's the missing line that we've not been able to get? Why uh, the Nigerian media has not been able to be the one to lay hands on this information or the video of their atrocities, uh, you know, when they commit them. The reports this time around emanated from a Twitter account of renowned Boko Haram propagandist in the person of Ahmed Sekilda, which uh, we feel that at this time his hands, uh, his hands is full of blood of the dead of these uh, four aid workers that were lost recently. It, it can be urged that Boko Haram killed these people knowing that Sakilda would do the dirty job as usual of helping them to publicize their heinous crimes. We therefore hold Sakilda equally responsible for this development as well. Until the likes of Sakilda are held to account for their role in the killings of innocent citizens, Nigeria and the rest of the world must accept that we have failed Nigeria and its citizens in carrying out our social responsibilities. Thank you all. <laughs>